because mm-hmm. Revelation speaks then, throughout history and future, when it speaks about Babylon and the fall of Babylon, and then the the coming new New Jerusalem, uh, I, it's why would there be a new Jerusalem if if Babylon didn't re- represent the old Jerusalem? Um, but there's the new Jerusalem, which is the church. So you not only have Babylon as the the old Jerusalem was judged and destroyed. But Babylon is a symbol for every other city that does the same thing that the old Jerusalem did. Every other nation that did the same, does the same thing that Jerusalem did, namely reject Christ, rebel against his rule, compromise with the pagan idolatry, introduce idolatry, whether that's idolatry of money or idolatry of actual demons or false gods. God will destroy and judge such a city, and he does and will do throughout time. And that's what we attempted to show, like in the text um, in City of God versus City of Man. We tried to show kind of how the book of Revelation plays out throughout time, which is just the same thing over and over again. Every era has the book of Revelation. The story of Revelation plays out once again in every era. And this is what we can read. We can read this book of Revelation. We could read this. And give us great hope for today, for for the things we're 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 dealing with, and we can we can look at these symbols, and we can actually identify these these same forces that are going on. I mean, who who is the? We've got the the sea beast and the land beast. We've got our own sea beasts and our own land beasts. We've got heretics within the church who are trying to push globalist agenda. They're trying to, so that's kind of like the, the, the land beast. And we've got the sea beast who are all the Klaus Schwab's and all these people, the heretics in the church and the pagans outside want to work together to have everyone compromise with the world. They want to make us renounce the sign of the cross so that we can live our lives 